Good morning, you guys. It's Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. Happy Friday. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing this beautiful, marvelous Friday morning? Did you guys sleep well? How are you doing? I wish you guys the best today. I hope you have an amazing weekend planned. It is 7.25 and just got through getting myself together as much as possible. <laughs> I was tired. I knew I wanted to sleep, so I did um, take some allergy medication, uh, which put me to sleep. So I was trying to get videos done last night, and I just fell asleep. Like, I was getting so frustrated. Nothing was working the way I wanted it to. I think I might have uploaded one. Y'all, Jeremiah bought me a sun donut. Do y'all remember these when we were in? I don't know if y'all, but when we were in grammar school. Y'all remember these donuts? They used to have those donuts for um, breakfast. You would get to get a milk with it or a juice. I don't know if y'all remember. I do. <laughs> what? Like every time I have to change my password, which I had to do last night, I always have issues the next day. But this time I was able to figure it out. Sorry guys. Uh, this time I was able to figure it out fairly quick and I'm glad about it because I didn't feel like dealing with that at all. Ooh, coffee hot. Just the way I like it. I'm out of whipped creamer. I just finished the last of it today. <coughs> out of creamer. So I have a little bit of milk in here and sugar. It's still so good. So good, so nice, so warm, so hot. It makes you warm. 
And I have to say, y'all, I've been so chilly lately. Um, I have my coat. <laughs> Yesterday, I kept putting the coat on, taking the coat off, putting the coat on, taking it off. Because I'm chilly. I'm just being honest. Ooh. I hope the work part of the day go by fast today, y'all. I don't have anything planned for this weekend. Just rest. Um, as always, I'm expecting great things today. I see it every day. Um, if it don't happen today, it's going to happen tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Because God, God knows. <laughs> right? He knows. Eyes are just so. Mm. <laughs> I haven't had my contacts in all week. I'm just giving my eyes a rest because they're tired as it is, right? Nose keep running. <laughs> Everybody must be in there because he took off running. <laughs> I did for a little bit while I was trying to work on the videos. I was listening to Anthony of Van Life. He has put a video up all week. And it's so funny he was explaining why. We went to the cabin in the woods, right? A couple people have visited you know, have gone on vacation and absolutely loved it. Now, just the title itself, the title in the woods, no, not I. But he went and he didn't get a chance to enjoy it like he would want to because it, it turns out he ended up, you know, he was sick. Even while he was doing the video, you can tell he was sick. And I guess because it was in the woods, he couldn't get good reception, so he wasn't able to upload his videos. That was frustrating. He kept going back and forth to McDonald's, and even still, it wasn't. There's just no good reception, right? On top of him being sick, so he like most of the time he just was in the bed, you know. And he didn't feel like cooking or anything because he wasn't feeling well, so he would go to McDonald's. So he's back and forth to McDonald's, um, trying to eat, trying to upload videos, blah, blah, blah. What was funny was I read on his community page or whatever. He was like, and I know it's not funny, but it's funny. And I was, I couldn't help but giggle. It was just, it cracked me up for some reason. He said he was feeling real bad because... <laughs> He had ran over a squirrel. <laughs> and I tell you, I get it, but those squirrels, man, they see the cars. It's like they intentionally run out there. It's like they want you to crash. So he was like, he was on his way to McDonald's and he had run over a squirrel. <laughs> he was like, I hit a squirrel. He says he looked back in the mirror to see. <laughs> He said he was just laying there shaking. <laughs> oh, Lord. And it was how he was saying it. Worded it. The way he worded what happened had me. It just made me laugh. It made me chuckle. There's nothing funny about killing something, right? By no means. By no means. But it was just funny to me how he worded 
you know what happened and I just could not help but giggle and I know it's bad I know it's bad but it just it tickled me I'm just being honest it tickled me it really did it's like sometimes my sister she'll, she'll text something and the way she words it it just cracks me up right and I'm thinking in my mind I'm hearing how she's saying it in my head and it could be totally different than what she's really doing but when I tell y'all that tickled me so much it tickled me so much it really did like one time she she, she it was a couple of times she texted something that just had me floored but the last time she texted something that had me laughing so hard was when um, she hit her head She's a driver. She hit her head, right? And I can't remember exactly what happened. I can't remember if, if something fell on her head or she stood up and hit her head. But the moral of the story is she hit her head, right? Hard enough for there to be a knot, a big knot. And what made me laugh is when she texted about it. She said <laughs> she hit her head so hard that she was on the outside of her body looking at herself in pain. <laughs> Oh, she had me rolling about the stuff she was saying. And then what made me laugh even harder is she ended up having to go to the hospital behind this, right? And she said my dad ended up coming to the hospital and he thinking she got hit by a car. <laughs> she was like, I didn't see nothing, but I got hit by a car. Oh, it was comical. They had me rolling, y'all. They just, I don't know if I'm just tired most of the time, sick most of the time. <laughs> but they just had me laughing so hard about some of the stuff that they be texting. I'd be like, Jesus. <sighs> this feels so warm, so warm on my throat. This cat. Yeah, guys, so I do have to make a couple of calls during my break. Um, but other than that, everything is okay for the most part. <laughs> I did. I think I told y'all yesterday I did pass. Um, so now I am out of training. So I'm going to be doing my um, enrollments and just praying that I'm not making any mistakes. You know, just take my time. Um, and the speed will come, you know, as you learn it, as you go. The more I perfect it and the more I'm able to quickly identify certain things, right? In the meantime, I'm just going to take my time. Um, I noticed that when I was doing it, the last three days, I was listening to gospel music. Um, Kirk Franklin's playlist. Um, There's a, a, a singer, I think he was with the OJs, um, something William, I forget, but he sang in a, uh, there was a movie out with Beyonce in it, Cuba, Cuba Jr., um, and they, you know, was she was young at this time, and it was like almost a, um, Oh, I forget the name of the picture. But she, at the end, they're singing. And um, is he he still loves me. I wait. What is it? Um, I'm not good enough. But he still loves me. She's, her part was. I forget his part. Um, I wrote it down. Because I wanted to learn it. It's old. Uh, took me a while, but I'm finally here. Just want to testify and make it crystal clear. See, I can't, that's my problem. I can't hit a tone in my head. The beat. See, I've been kicked out. Been picked on, been talked about, 
until I turn my lights around. Seems like I've always been sure of being worthy. I'm not good enough, but he still loves me. Ain't no superstar, my light ain't shining on me. Cause I ain't good enough, but he still loves me. And then she comes in and she sings, I used to wake up some days wishing I'd stayed asleep. I went to bed on top of the world, but today the world's on top of me. Everybody's got opinions, but they ain't in my position. Makes my heart want to hear what they say about me. I'm not good enough, but he still loves me. Mm, 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 mm. I'm not good enough, but he still loves me. I love that song so much because it says a lot. It says a lot, you know. Uh, in my opinion, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy of a lot of things. I'm not worthy of God's grace, God's mercy, His kindness. I'm so not worthy of a lot of things, but He still loves me. He still chose me. And I know that He chose me because I feel it here. And if He hadn't chose me, I wouldn't feel the way I feel. You know what I'm saying? And I'm so grateful that I am one of His chosen. I do believe that with all my heart. Um, and regardless of the things that I go through in life, um, I know God is there with me. I know that He understands. Um, and I know that there's always going to be a, a better day, right? Um, troubles don't last always. They don't. They don't last always. Sometimes we go through things to make us stronger. Um, sometimes we go through things so that we're able to help someone else, believe it or not. You know, um, regardless of what it is, who, how, where, when, I have to stand strong and I have to continue to have faith. And I have to continue to speak on it because, one, sometimes, honestly, I need to remind myself. And that's okay. That's okay. It's no different than learning something and every now and then going back and rereading it or reteaching yourself or um, re-educating yourself um, to stay on top of it, you know, because times and things change constantly. And so that's what I, I do every day. I have to just constantly remind myself um, that it's going to be okay. And I have to remind myself that I need to study and focus more. Um, I have to. I can't. I'm not a genius, right? I don't have a photographic memory and all of this. So it don't, it don't come as easy for me. It never has. And um, I don't, honestly, you can't be lazy. You can't be a lazy child of God. You just can't be. And I do find myself a little standoffish about some things because I'm the type of person that's just seriously and honestly laid back, uh, pretty calm, pretty quiet, content, <laughs> you know, and I just don't like drama, confrontation, aggravation any of that stuff right I just want to be happy and I just want those around me to be happy I want people that I don't even know to be happy it breaks my heart when I hear about somebody going through something and regardless of who it is and I can't do anything but pray right and I know prayer is powerful but sometimes I wish that I could do more you know when I read about or watch videos about some of the people's struggles, uh, especially our beautiful, innocent children. Oh my God, it just breaks my heart, you know, knowing that there's nothing I can do but pray. And sometimes that's all it takes, that's, it, that's all that's needed. You know, sometimes that prayer, because God hears the prayers, and it might just be that prayer, that extra prayer for me, um, that's needed to help that person or those people, right? Um, because 
like I told y'all before, sometimes I'm watching videos and they're old videos that I'm looking at because I'm not always, I don't stay up with everything, right? So sometimes when I see stuff, it's late. And I'll, I'll be talking to my daughter, did you know? And, I, and she's like, mommy, that's all. Oh, yeah, that happens. And I'm like, oh, my God. You know, it's just, you know. She's like, yeah, I saw that on, on this on this page. Or da -da 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 -da. And I'm like, where have I been? <laughs> you know, but I just, I really do. I wish nothing but happiness, you know, and peace. Um, grace and mercy for everyone, y'all. I really do. Oh, that's right. I gotta go in, sign into everything now. Uh, see if I can remember. But I intend to Oh, oh yeah. So I feel like I'm blowing my brains out. Blow out something. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, guys. So um, I'm not gonna talk long this morning. I just want to take a moment to say good morning to you guys. Happy Friday! It's super, super, super happy that it's Friday. Super stoked. I'm just hoping that it goes by quickly. Um, I do hate that I gotta get up tomorrow morning and go donate, but it is what it is, and I will do what I have to do. That coffee's extra good this morning. <laughs> nice and hot. And I may have to put it back. I may have to put it in the microwave because it's getting warmer by me sitting here talking. Um, so, yeah. Next week, guys, I'm going to really, really start on this weight loss journey. Um, like I said, I don't stress over it. But, you know, if I fall off, get back up and try again. So, next week, starting Monday. I know it's the holiday, but it's going to be my... The first day one of just getting it together, right? <sighs> Cat for everywhere. Anyway, guys, have a great Friday morning. I'll talk to you maybe later in the day. If not, be the Lord's will. I'll talk to you on tomorrow. Please be safe this weekend, this holiday weekend. Please responsibly enjoy the weekend, okay? Remember to treat people the way you would expect it to be treated, or better yet, the way the Lord would. Say your prayers, guys. Say prayers, not just for yourself, family, friends, and loved ones, but all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Say a prayer for me, okay? And expect great things, great things to happen to you, through you, and for you on this day. Bye, guys.